guys, it's Bertie Cam, and we're here to show you the Starburst bracelet today. So first, what you want to do, like all bracelets, is get 33 of one color for your parameter. And mine is going to be white. I would prefer white, black, or something dark, like dark blue. For your inside, I always choose bright colors, like neon, but not today. Right now, I'm going to use pink and orange. You can use from you can use one, two, three, and six colors. Up, so anything you want, and then you need a C clip, and then you'll need extra bands for the extension. Let's get started. First, what you need to do is get a band and go left on the band. I'll say I mean. And then you need to go straight all the way down to the second to last pin. I'll fast forward in a few minutes after three more. So, one more. Once you get to the second to last pin, you need to go into the center diagonally forward. Repeat the same steps on the other side of the loop. And this is what it should look like when you're done with both sides completed. Once you've repeated on the other side, your loom should look like this. Now we are going to place the burst part of our starburst. I just say burst. They look like a flower. First, what you need to do Let's go from the, sem from the second pin out to the left or right. Then you're going to go clockwise all the way down with six bands. I'll show you the first two and then skip. Okay, the second one, you skip not this pin, but the one in front of it. You go out to the side, clockwise. After this one, I will skip. This is an advanced bracelet, so if you just got your rainbow loom, this may take several attempts. It did for me. Is to put capping bands in the center of all the star, all the starbursts. I'll show you how to do a cap band. So what you want to do? Take a band, twist it in half. And then fold it back upon itself so it's doubled up. You can also just take your mini loom, put the band on the mini loom, wrap it around it twice so there's two rings. Okay, that's how you make a capping band. Okay, the next step is to put a capping band on the edge right there. Okay. Congratulations, it's time for looping. Now what you're gonna do is flip your loom around. What you're gonna do is you're gonna you need to pull back these bands. That's the mistake I've always made. You're gonna pull back this cap band, get the orange band, or whatever band for your starburst, and loop it forward. Next, you're gonna push back the cap band, and you're gonna loop, 
and you're gonna get the one on top pull pull it this way there we go and another way is to pull back go to the next one so you're gonna be looping counterclockwise I'm gonna do two more with you after this one so you just keep looping counterclockwise you have to really push back that cap end it gets easier at the end because there's only very few bands left and if it doesn't if it's not the right band I'll show you for example now we're gonna move to the next one we're gonna take this band right here and loop it forward now we're gonna push back the cap band grab a band or the top band pull it out to the side Whoop. lost my band pull it out to the side and then push it come out here to the side Put it back. We're gonna come again, take the band, loop it forward, pull back the cap band, push back that band. And now it becomes quite obvious to see which band goes to which. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead now. If you had trouble looping the, the starburst part, you should probably go back and watch again and watch every detail. Now, next what we are going to do is loop the perimeter. What we need to do is go back to the front of our loom. We are going to pull back this cap band, take the top band, and it should loop to the left. Make sure you only are grabbing one. You want to push back all those bands. There should be four layers. And carefully pull it forward. I'll show you one, two more loops after this one. And push it back. Pull it forward. All the way to the end on one side and did the same on the other side you're ready to do the final steps of your bracelet what you want to do is get a rubber band the color of your perimeter you're gonna take your hair go through all those bands, every single one. And then pull it back through. And then rehook it right here. Next, you're gonna get a bunch more, maybe around five more of that color. So you can do the extent the perimeter color once more and you need to get your q-tip so you can point off your bracelet or you can use it straight and you take your hook or take a band and slip it on your hook Slide those bands over. Oh, so it's tight. It's really tight to your hook around it. Oh, that was a bad one. So it just, if you have two looms, you just want to connect both. And 
Once you've done a circle, you are almost done with the bullseye. Once you've done the extension about this long, you can take off your bracelet. If you're a beginner, take it off really slow. And if you know how to do ring balloon, take it off quickly. This is what your bracelet should look like. If it looks any different, but it still doesn't fall apart, tell us in the comments and we will try and watch your video. Thank you. Have a great day.